the latest move in an aggressive anti-Maduro push from Washington. Lawmakers met with the U.S. representative for Venezuela's self-proclaimed interim president, Juan Guaido, on Wednesday to discuss a plan to seize the Maduro government's assets in the U.S. It would help give the opposition leader the funds he needs to oust President Maduro and consolidate his power. We have an open window to uh, produce a change in Venezuela. Venezuela is ready for a change, but we cannot do this alone. We need the support not only of the U.S. We need the support of the Latin American countries. We need the support of the European Union. The assets apply to certain property held in the U.S. belonging to the Venezuelan government or its central bank and would mark another win for Guaido. The U.S. has already handed control of Venezuela's bank accounts in the country to the opposition leader and has imposed stiff sanctions on Venezuela's state-owned oil company PDVSA. The interim government's aim now is to protect assets belonging to public entities such as Citgo, the US-based oil firm owned by PDVSA and Venezuela's largest source of cash. In a New York Times op-ed, Guaido said he needed support from governments all over the world to end the regime, and Washington is calling on others to follow their lead. They've got to do everything they do just like we're doing, put in sanctions, hold people accountable. So hopefully in the next few days, all that will happen worldwide and we'll continue to put pressure on Maduro and he'll step aside so we have democracy rather than socialism and a dictator in Venezuela. Adding further pressure, White House National Security Advisor John Bolton tweeted on Wednesday that traders shouldn't deal in gold, oil or other commodities being stolen from the Venezuelan people. President Maduro accuses Guaido of staging a US-directed coup against him and has cut off all diplomatic ties with Washington.